Over the last couple of days, I've spent some quality time with the new Cycles X render engine in the current Blender 3.0 Alpha version. I don't know if you've heard about this, but the Blender team, after 10 years of using Cycles, of having implemented and written Cycles and continuously refined Cycles, they've decided it's time for a rewrite of Cycles, and that's called Cycles X. So it is supposed to be faster and more friendly with modern GPUs and all that. And they've got an interesting article here on on the blender.org website here on right on the front page if you scroll down a little bit under blender news you'll find this one here cycles x the future of rendering in blender and they've got some interesting findings here in regards to how they're approaching the project what the main goals are of the project and then some interesting graphs here that perform extremely well on a well quadro rtx 6000 card that's about four grand or something or what was when it came out in 2018 and so the red bits here they are the Cycles X render times and the blue ones are the render times with the current version of Cycles and it promises to be quite impressive. So I went ahead and made my own tests and published them on my own website, which is this one here, Checking Out Cycles X. I will link to this article in the description and I'm mentioning their findings and I'm comparing it to my own findings. And quite surprisingly, I didn't have the same experiences at all on three different test systems with various different tests scenes. So check that article out if you're interested in the side-by-side -side comparisons. The one thing I couldn't quite show in that video was in fact how the viewport performs real time. So that's a feature of Cycles X as well, that it doesn't just render your image, but it also previews your image and gives you valuable feedback while you're building your scenes in regards to lighting and all that. And that is what I'm going to show in this video. So I've got a couple of versions side by side currently open. Uh, the first one, this one here is, uh, which one was it? This one here is Blender 3.0. That's the alpha version that we're going to have a look at in a moment. That is this. I'll also show you where you can download that version if you want to have a fiddle with it yourself. And the other one is in fact this one here. That's the Blender 2.92, the current release version of Blender. Let's start with that one. I've got my sad robot scene here. That's the Mixer animation that I've made, I think, when Mixer went offline. I'm going to go and switch over to the rendered viewport. And so this is one of the features that they've greatly improved in Cycles X. So currently, if I go and drag my scene it just takes a second or so for the current cycles 2.92 to go and bounce enough samples around so that i get an accurate preview so it starts very grainy and then over the next couple of seconds or so the grain disappears that's kind of that's kind of cool that's that's really nicely done and you know on my current system with the two rtx 2080 cards that works surprisingly well but on an older system with the slower graphics card, that doesn't work so well. So what they've done in Cycles X is they've been able to improve this drastically. So let me go and switch this off and go to this version here. This is now the current Cycles X alpha version, so to say. It doesn't have all the features implemented yet, but what I can see here is that the viewport just comes to life much faster. So when I make a change, when I move my scene, it just literally takes less than a second, literally half a second or so, for enough samples to be there so that I can see an accurate preview. Can you see that here? It's kind of cool. I literally, whenever I make a change, that there's this grain, and then the next thing I know, the scene just pops into place. So it's almost like it only needs one pass, and it presents me with all the samples necessary to get a fairly accurate light preview here so it doesn't need several passes anymore it just goes boom it's there that's kind of cool and i really like how this the impact of that on animation so if i go and move my timeline here it literally i just have to park it and it just goes snaps into place and gives me a fairly accurate preview the minute i do this and that is that is quite impressive i have to say i'm, I'm very very pleased with that and that is something i couldn't quite Right. I mean, I wrote about it, but I couldn't quite show you this. The Blender guys have an actual side-by-side -side comparison on their website, so that's that's quite quite exciting. Let me go back to Blender 2.92. Obviously, I'm going to only render one viewport at a time, not both of them, because that would be overtaxing. So yeah, same scene, but it does take noticeably longer for all the grain to disappear and for me to see an accurate preview. And of course, the same is true on the timeline. 
So if I go and move my timeline, it, the same thing happens. So it's, it's just the two, three seconds that it needs for me that I have to wait. And then I get to see what my, what my scene looks like. Now on a fast, relatively fast system like this, this is, this is enjoyable on, on, you know, both Cycles X and even the, the current version of Blender. But what is even more exciting is that it also works with older graphics cards. Let me show you something that I've captured earlier from my GTX 970 system. That's this one here. So this is only working with a single GTX 970 card. And this is how Cycles X performs on that. So we see the same thing that I've just shown you a moment ago, just kind of in slow motion. So this is Blender 3.0 Alpha with Cycles X. And you can see the same tendency. It just takes a little bit longer, but even on an older card, like the GTX 970, it is quite surprising how quickly the Cycles X is able to render the whole viewport. So it still does take a second or so, but it only needs that, that one pass and that's quite exciting. This is a comparison now with the current version of Blender 2.92, so the regular version of Cycles, also with the GTX 970, and that's a totally different story there. So it is. this is how I'm, I'm used to rendering heavier scenes. So you make a change and then you literally have to wait five seconds to get a relatively accurate preview. So this, this is where the regular Cycles engine really takes much longer to give us a representation of how a scene looks. So that's quite exciting to see that change in Cycles X, I must say. Very, very impressed by that. Let me show you another example with the junk shop scene. This one is once again, this is with the regular Cycles 2.92, the current release version. This is one of their test scenes that has been provided on the Blender website. It takes a moment for it to kick off here. So let me go and move my viewport around and you can still see, I mean, it is faster because this is now back on my dual RTX 2080 system. You can see it is faster, but the cycles 2.92 tendency is still there. It does need these various passes to give us an accurate representation of the scene. And if we switch this over to Cycles X in a moment, you see a very different tendency there. So even, so this is a bit of a heavier scene. This is why I chose it. So even on a relatively fast system, it just takes these few seconds for all the grain to disappear. Let me go switch this off again and go back to the other version of Blender. This is the 3.00 Alpha with Cycles X. Cycles X in action. So if I go and move my viewport now, I can see that the scene is basically just there. I mean, it's, yeah, it, it does, it does grain out a little bit as I zoom in and out, but it's just so much faster when I do that. And I really, really appreciate that. How exciting is that? I mean, for viewport performance and including on older systems, it's just, that's a total game changer. That is just such a joy moving in the viewport like that. And once again, for animations, same thing. It's just very, very cool to do that. I'm very excited about this. So some features are not quite implemented in Cycles X yet. It's just a joy to have this type of quality in a viewport in real time. That is it's near real time. It's not quite real time, but it's near real time. So it's very, very exciting. I'm looking forward to where this is going. Some features are not quite implemented. So uh, be aware that I think volumetrics is not something that is working right now. But of course, the team are working on it. This is extremely early days. So, you know, that's one of those things. It's just not quite ready yet. So they reckon about six months from now. If you want to give this a spin, have a look at Builder dot blender dot org that is a kind of section on their website where you get all kinds of experimental versions of blender it's not exactly on the front page it is over here under experimental branches if you click on that then you get a long list of weird looking things for windows mac os and linux and the cycles x branch is at the very bottom here so if you scroll all the way down blender 3.00 the cycles x branch and mine has been the one that i've been using was updated on may the 13th and this is the hash this this is the one that you can download and spin around and have a look on your own system and see what you think i think it's quite a game changer i'm looking forward where this is going and i can't wait to try this out on my various little projects thank you so much for watching have a wonderful time with cycles x on and off the 3d circuit and i hopefully will see you next time take care Bye-bye.